Bruce here. Now, I'm here with my main man, my, my main brother, CJ Lopez. Say what up, Carl? What's going on, YouTube? It's your boy, CJ Lopez, and welcome back to a brand new live stream video. As always, I'm with my brother, uh, the host of T-Movies, Thomas Levesque, and today we're going to do Disney 2020. Talk about Disney and you know the Disney movie coming in 2020. And you know, this like the 2019 of Disney was a really like 2019 was a solid year for uh, the company of Disney. Yeah, it, it was. Company. Yeah, it, it, it was pretty sad. Um, last year yeah. Disney didn't do too well. Yeah, I mean, with the launch of Disney Plus and uh, of course, uh, Disney made films in the box yeah. office with Avengers, Lion King, and all. But looks like it's gonna be a year. Yeah, it looks like it's gonna be a lot better for Disney this year. Disney has a lot better coming out. And today I also have a special co-host, y'all. I got me, my little buddy with me. This is my puppy Loki. Say hi, Loki. He's actually um a litter from my sister's dogs because they made it and made this little guy, and I've been waiting to get him home. And now I got him. I named him Loki because he's the Norse god of mischief, and well, he literally is mischief. So I'm happy to have him with us. All right, All right man. So I'm just pulling up my list as I'm talking to y'all because, of course, we do make lists. And we try to keep our research as thoroughly as possible. Alright. Uh, now, I hope you guys can hear me because they, I am outside and there's lots of planet also. Yeah. Uh, we're good? Yeah, and, uh, I'm all green on my end, man. Uh. Yep. Sound looks like it's coming in good. Got the list fully up. Got about three viewers on. Yeah, I'm ready to go, man. Welcome, everybody. Hope you enjoyed the stream. And hopefully we say anything that y'all like and anything y'all want to watch. Any questions y'all got, put it down below. We'll try to answer everything you got. We got everything on the list right here. There is a little bit of sound interference through that. <laughs> yeah, we got a little bit of sound interference coming from your end, big man. Y'all hear that, right? That is screeching. All right, man. I'm um, still stay on live and everything, and pretty much just talk about keep the stream going, and we'll catch you when you come back to us. All right, man. You're good, bro. You're good. We'll see you when you come back, all right, big man? Well, while he gets that situated, we're going to move on to further things. So we'll do Disney when he comes back. Of course, as y'all know, everything is still going through. Um, I did one of my classes today, which was fun. Who does not love college? So while we wait on him, let me get my other list that I wanted to do. So give me one moment, y'all. I do have YouTube put away. And I do want and I do want to become a geek with y'all. So y'all do real quick. Let me pull this back up. So y'all remember how I told y'all I wanted to like do 
different type of nerdy stuff and everything. Well, uh, it's on this table right here. Give me one moment. Okay. Where is it? <clears throat> oh, don't drop. Ooh. Sorry. Had to move my switch. I do have a couple of Z's that I do plan on opening with y'all. Is the I know this has been a while. This has been out for a little while, but it's the Yu-Gi-Oh Sarcophagus Ten, and of course I have opened a couple of these already, but I have not opened them on my channel. So I do want to open a few of those with y'all. A cup and as well as a couple of the really, really old tents, like that would be him right there, y'all. What's good, man? Uh, so no more interferences. Nah. All right, cool. But that was a lot of screeching. Yeah, no, we hear you a lot better now, man. You coming in clearly. No, 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 no. Don't you don't chew that, boy. You don't chew that. Yeah, I was supposed to leave today, y'all, but change of plans. But you know, it's okay. I get to stay here and chat with y'all guys, which is always great. I enjoy it. So, as I was telling y'all, uh, I might as well put this list away. Um, so, I do have a bunch of stuff planned to do with y'all, but for this week alone, because it's been a while since I've been back, ooh, it's gonna hide in here and it's messing up with my neck. Uh, I did, I am gonna be doing a lot of stuff with my brother just for this week. Starting next week, I will be doing my own thing, so we won't be seeing much of my brother. But we will be hearing from him and all, which will be great. Um, as I said, I do plan on, as I tour around, trying to get my business going. Hold on, my headset. I do plan on um, keeping y'all with me and everything, as well as I did went out of my way to try to find a camcorder to do that with. So once that happens... I can't wait to travel around with Josh and do a little bit of entrepreneuring with all of you. So it's going to be fun. And y'all get to see how I'm going to start my business and start from the ground bottom. So I hope y'all are, right? are, are looking forward right for that. Now? Yeah, man, whenever you're ready, I'm still getting the live going. I'm talking to everybody. Well, right now I got one viewer, but I'm still talking to everybody. We're going to do the intro all over again. What's going on, YouTube? It's your boy, CJ Lopez. And as always, I'm joined today with my brother, T-Movies. And today we're going to be doing Disney Movies 2023, y'all. Sorry, I had to um, redo the intro for him. I did put him on mute, but we're going to be moving forward with this and, and everything. So let me pull back up my list. Disney, do Disney does look like it's about to be doing a lot of good stuff from the, just from the look of this list. It does look like we're going to be getting some pretty good stuff coming. But let's see how well that really works out for us. Okay, so we're going to be covering a good basis of stuff. Right, 
And before we get started on to this one, y'all, I did I do remember when um back when I really started this, I was doing a lot of card openings and then I went to doing video games. Oh uh, so if y'all want me to start doing like more PlayStation 4, Xbox One, or um Nintendo Switch games, um comment below and tell me what games y'all want me to play for like Switch, PlayStation 4, or Xbox. I will be um trying to get into a lot more of those as while I was trying to get some PC gaming going on. But we're going to get back to the content that we're doing now. Tommy, kick it off with the first thing on our yeah, list. Yeah, like, here's my three quick, so let's speed this up a little. All right. Uh, the first Disney film coming out, it is a Disney Plus movie, and that's a film called uh, Timmy Trailer, which is about this uh, kid who believes that he is the best detective in town, runs the agency total trailer with his best friend, who's an imaginary... Uh, Oh, it is based on a children's book, and it is coming to Disney Plus the first week of February. Uh, what do you think of the sound of Tom? It looks interesting. Um, I've seen a couple of the trailers for it. Um, I think it's really, really. It's new. It's unique. Um, the director Tom Mc um McCarthy, he's done a bunch of good stuff. So I do have high hopes for this movie, but we'll see. Anyway, that comes to Disney Plus first week of February. So anyway, all right. Now coming in March, we got Onward, which good looks fantastic. It's about these two teenage elf brothers, Ian and Molly Lightfoot, who go on a journey to discover if there is still magic left uh, out there in order to spend time with their uh. One last day with their father and died, and uh, when they were young, to uh, remember. And they end up uh, magically, re- uh, the father ends up magically repair- uh, repairing, and so it's, but it's only like part of his uh, body, and so they have to find, try to find the rest of them. So they go on a uh, quest. And it's from TikTok. TikTok's first movie of the decade, to be exact. And you've got the voice of uh, Star Wars and Spider Man, you know, Chris Pratt and Tom Holland. This was amazing. Oh, what do you think about this? Another good movie. I'm pretty sure everybody's already done seeing the trailer for this. I do not know much of Dan Scion's work, but right now, of course, I just searched him up. He's done a lot of good stuff. Uh, but it looks like what I'm reading here, he did help do trolls. So I feel so he's really is in his element. Um, the fact that this movie does come out in March 6th, um, I think it's going to be good because March is going to be a pretty big year for Disney for what it's looking like to me. But, I don't know. It's, I've I've seen the trailer more than once. I'm about to, and right now, while you were talking, I just did look at two more trailers that I have not seen. It could be a good movie. I know a lot of kids are going to watch it. It's a good family movie. Yeah, yeah, really good. All right, now coming out on Disney Plus on uh, March 13th, we got a film for Star Girl, which is based on a book, and it's about a boy who becomes intrigued um, by this uh, mysterious and quirky student named Star Girl, and spends his time trying to uh, know her more. It's still not a great band in the world who was a winner on America's Got Talent, so this is her uh, acting debut. No, I do not want nobody to get discouraged. This movie, Star Girl, is not from the same as the DC character, Star Girl. Two different people, way two different type of novels, and so much more. The fact that the director of this one is um Julia Hart. She has no, she doesn't even know what comic books is. So I do not want nobody to think a Star Girl is literally the DC character Star Girl. It's yeah, way different. That was CW in the yeah, so. like that that's for that's going to be strictly a CW for, um show. It's not going to be an actual um thing on the big screen. So I do not want nobody to get discouraged. The fact that it's called Star Girl. Yeah. All right, now 
Actually, never even heard of it. I'm not gonna lie. Um, Riara, Ri Riaria, whatever the last dragon. Oh, uh, I've never heard of it. Um, the voice actor is the same actor that's done a bunch of Disney movies. Uh, the fact that it has um uh, two directors is really crazy. Oh, you said Moana. Oh, I'm on the wrong one. I got it. I got it. I got it. Well, I can't pronounce these things. I can't. I was on. I was on the. Oh, I was too far down the list. I'm sorry. I'm. I'm here. All right. Now this one, yes, I do. I have seen the main series of this. The live action. Uh, the budget for this movie. Wow. It was two hundred and ninety dollars. To three hundred million dollars, bro. That's crazy. So they spent millions on this movie. They did it in China, all of that, of course. But it, I do remember the animated series, but I do remember the animated series, though. I remember correctly, she has the dragon with her. Hello, everybody. Oh, yeah, I'm going to keep breaking in and out. All right, hold on, y'all. Let me see if I can fix that. All right, y'all, can you hear me now? Am I coming in better? Of course, I love Talia. She's amazing. Like, her actor herself is amazing. Black Widow, I loved. Since the animated, I've read all her couple comics from the original for when she first started. Like, who, like, like, it's about time we did get a Black Widow movie. Like, we've seen a lot of DCs from Justice League, Aquaman, Aquaman 2, and everything. And it's about Time we finally got somebody from one of the Avengers. Like, we had Avengers for a while. We've seen Black Widow on it. Have yet to get a Black Widow movie. We have Captain America. We have Thor. We have Iron Man. We have all of that. Not yet a Black Widow. So I am, I am really thrilled about the fact that we are getting a Black Widow movie. And believe it or not, there are, there are a whole lot of on female heroes out there. Like, the fact that in Marvel Endgame, we got to literally see the whole female Avengers. Because there is literally a Marvel comic that, that goes in the alternate universe where all the, fem all the um, Avengers are all females. Now, you even see a female Spider-Man, Spider-Girl. Uh, you got Iron Woman in there. Like, of course, Black Widow is still Black Widow because she's a female. But, like, the fact that we're are getting to see all these, like, getting to see a lot of these females get their big debut. It's great to see a good change of pace. Right. Yeah, yeah. Hopefully they um keep it going with like the Avengers because I do want to see another Avengers movie. Yeah, and uh the big point before I take um sleep, uh anyway. Um alright. 
I don't know, story sounds interesting. It sounds like it could be a lot, but again, we're not going to really, you know, until we actually see it and everything. So it's definitely going to be interesting. It seems like it's, it seems pretty good. Right? Again, I'm still trying to read and get them out of it real quick because, of course, there's a lot of it that I don't know. The director of him, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't believe I've heard of this director, to be honest. Like, but I'm, he seems all right. He seems like he's, he knows what he's doing. It seems like he really is in his element and all. Done a lot of movies like this. Yeah, yeah. Not bad. Not bad. Uh, Ford is looking like I hope he does live up to type. Like I said, it's been a while since we've seen the rock, um, Dwayne the Rock do some stuff, and um, you know what I mean. Um, it's good to see the Rock doing stuff and everything. Um, the director, I'm going to call it Sierra. Oh, for real? So, so you know this kind of person on that then? That's cool. I'm reading that. Yeah, I'm reading that. that. He seems pretty good. Um, the fact that this show should have supernatural elements in it sound, sounds pretty unique. You know, um, should be spooky in there. You said the sound of it? What did you say, bro? You're coming in and out. Oh, uh, um, I do remember it from the very first one. Um, the, the director, again, another person I don't know about, um, Thea uh, Chirac. She seems like she knows. This is obviously going to be a different line of pace for her. Because she's never really done a lot of this type of stuff. But... I kind of like it too because it's supposed to be beauty of friendship, the power, vision, and um, significant. F um, uh, I'm getting tongue tied. Uh, anyway, it's supposed to be a really good family movie and show friendship and all. And 
all the sweet jazz that we all want to see in a family movie. And do I see King Kong? I swear to God, I see Kong. Eternals I have actually um but sadly I don't own as much as comic books as I would want from them. But I do know the Eternals. They're they're a good team and all and I do love them. Honestly, the person who's supposed to be the captain is should be very interesting. Yeah. Uh, um, in the original, um, in the original, uh, uh, comic book, um, uh, Eternals actually were the first, uh, ones to went against Thanos, uh, and they actually got their butts handed to them pretty bad. Until they um, met up with the Avengers when and the Avengers lost it under the first time, and um, they all and all of them got banded together. You know, Avengers, Guardians of the Galaxy. Um, actually, the Turtles were the first ones who gathered everybody. So pretty much, the Turtles started it all. The whole fight against Thanos. So that's actually a fun fact. Again, I, I no geek alert, nervous alert. Sorry, I'm, I just know my logic. I know my logic. Right now I'm just looking at the design of their, their um because one of their enemies is a giant robot and I'm just looking at them and how they're making them. Uh, the design is somewhat flawed, but you know not much complaints out of my end. That's not like, it does sound a lot like Darth Vader. You're not lying. It does sound like a lot of Darth Vader. So I'm, I'm trying to talk to a viewer.
Again, I accidentally skipped to it, so but it, it, it seems decent. I'm right now looking at a, another movie that we're about to be talking about here in a little bit. That's, that's about to make a couple people's heads turn. Plus, y'all be able to see it in other words. Oh, yeah, man. The fun, the, what we're about to talk about here soon, y'all. You're going to understand why I'm laughing at it. The director is Anna Mastro. Oh, I hope I'm not butchering her name neither. Yeah. 
Well, of course, all of us grew up with the original Home Alone and everything. So the fact that they're doing this one, and I'm pretty sure y'all have all seen the um the trailer that's on TV. But um, it does honestly. I don't have high hopes for this movie. Um, Home Alone has never been the same after like the first three. Yeah. Yeah, part four and five was made Home Alone look pretty bad. Oh. Uh, Yeah, we'll see about it. One thing I do want to talk about um, is a movie. It's a, it's a Disney movie that we did not did not make our list mainly because we do not know when it's coming out. The thing we know much about is the initial release that's supposed to be released this year on 2020, but we do not know when. And it is the new Phineas and Ferb the movie on um, um, against the adventure of the universe and uh, um is an upcoming 2020 film based on the 2007 the 2015 american animated television series phineas and ferb and we did not even really got a director or anything for this um and the production price hasn't really been made they got a couple cast for for it of course but Sadly, this movie, Phineas and Ferb, did not really make our list too much, mainly because of those reasons. It doesn't really have much to, much for us to go off of. But it is something that we will be talking about the minute we can as well. Yeah. Yeah. As well as them doing Bob's Burger, um, that's going to be funny on July seventeenth. But the fact that they're the fact that they're doing a Bob's Burger movie that that kind of that kind of does um make people chuckle a little bit. But again, we don't really talk about those kinds of movies. But it is something. That is an honorable mention. But what do you think, Tom? Any other, any, anything else you want to talk about that didn't really get a chance to make your list? Yeah, uh, I would like to see, honestly, I would, I do agree with my brother, I would like to see a family that movie more than a Bob's Burger movie. But, it's good to get something like we can't, beggars can't really be choosers too much. But again, it's a, it, it is an honorable mention, and it is going to be good to see how they go with it and where they go with it. I don't even know why Disney bought Family Guy and Bob Burger. So the Simpsons is Disney. Now, now that's going to be funny. The fact that Deadpool is Disney and Disney is a family-based brand, bruh. What is they going to do to Deadpool? But, um, of course, I'm interested in all the. Marvel flicks, um, of, of course, because again, I'm a geek, I'm a nerd, and all that fun stuff. There are a couple of good movies here. I do wish that a couple that did not make our list does get updates soon. 
so like that we can redo and look back at this and do add those in. But the two we didn't mention or the two we me and Tom me and um Thomas does believe that it does deserve at least some sort of talking about. But once those do get an update, me and Thomas will do relook back at this and do it over and talk about those that we not talk did not talk about. Yeah, um, Onward does sound like does look like it could be a good family shot movie. But, of course, you know, sadly, we are going to wrap this thing up. It, it, this video has been going on for about 41 minutes now, for at least on my end. But, yeah, and I do, and I, I do have a lot to say about Wonder Brothers, so. But, of course, if y'all did like this video or live stream, hit a thumbs up on it. If y'all didn't, just like it. Comment down below. What do you think how we did? What, what's your favorite Disney? What do you think that we should have added onto the list and we talked and should have talked about? And what do you think what we did talk about? Of course, y'all though. <laughs> yeah, but of course, y'all have a good one. And I was, I was your co-host, CJ Lopez. I was with the host of Team Movies, Tom and we'll see y'all next time, y'all. Peace. It wasn't bad.